it's hard to know where the story begins. Although we know how it ends. That's true as any story can be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, it begins before, before he became famous. A columnist. <laughs> Reckless. Bad. Before he became Michael McElroy. Yeah, with his picture on the side of the truck. <laughs> but even before, I mean, we, we don't talk about him way more than we talk about anybody. This is the New York Times. This is a serious newspaper. Fuck it. Yeah. <laughs> this is a tabloid. Small newspaper, large headlines, high energy, blood, guts, dirt, fire, flood. The champion of the people. New York City is a tabloid town. Lots of uh, newsstands and working class people that, that take the subway. And in 1985, we had two scrappy tabloids, the Post and the News. But in 1985, Newsday out on Long Island decided to move into the city and start a third tabloid. <laughs> they lost $100 million in the process, but it took them five years. Meanwhile, we were hiring left and right. I am Pat Harrison, city editor. Jim Dwyer, I was writing a column. John Carter, managing editor. Yeah, John is drunk. We're rocking. He was drunk 24 hours ago. What about me? Where's my uh, we're working out for you. It's my story. Mike McAlary, zealous, hardworking, true blue, police reporter. <laughs> Let me uh, set it up. All, all right. I ever wanted to be was a reporter in New York City. You get to be at the center of everything that's happening that Day, a plane crash on Bergen Street in Brooklyn, you see it. The stones arrive, you're there. Whatever's happening, you go out, you get it and write it, and millions of people read it. And then you get to go sit in the bar and tell everyone the stuff that the lawyers didn't let you put in the paper. And most important of all, the next day, you get to go out and do it all over again, except everything is new. You are God's fucking messenger. Relax.